Hi there, and welcome back to Kitten School. What can we do about a very shy cat? A while back, I made a video about my extremely shy cat, Kate Moss, who is so skittish that she runs under the bed when anyone walks into the room. Now, Katie's been with me since she was a tiny feral kitten, but while the rest of her litter were all quickly socialized, she just never got over her intense shyness. Katie spends most of her time on or under the bed in our guest room, but she loves to eat, and so she'll usually venture out when it's dinner time, just to make sure she's not forgotten. Sometimes she'll allow one of us to pet her, but after a moment she quickly bolts away. It's like she'll forget for a few seconds to be scared, but then it always comes right back. I think Katie does want affection, but she has a very strong fear reflex, which is something all cats instinctually have as a survival mechanism. Katie is now almost 15 years old, and while age has mellowed her some, she's still very shy. She has a great life, she gets along well with the other cats, but I've always felt bad that she's just so nervous. I recently read about the use of CBD oil being used to help calm nervous cats, so I thought I'd give it a try and see if it might help Kate Moss. Now what exactly is CBD oil? Well, it's an oil made from the flowers and leaves of the hemp plant, which is a cousin of the marijuana plant. Unlike marijuana, hemp lacks the THC compound that makes you stoned, but it does have other compounds called phytocannabinoids, which some have claimed can heal all kinds of ailments from depression to inflammation to even epilepsy. I even take it myself sometimes when I'm feeling like I need to relax a little, and it does help. But whether this supposed miracle oil would make any difference in Katie's anxiety would remain to be seen. I decided to try two different brands of CBD oil formulated for cats. This one by Pet Relief, and this one by Bluebird. Each dose contains about 3-4% to CBD oil, and it can be mixed into the cat's food. The oil has a pretty strong herbal smell that some cats might not like, but Katie, never a picky eater, scarfed it down without hesitation. Katie received a morning dose of the Pet Relief Oil for two weeks, and then I switched to the Bluebird Oil for the next two weeks. I figured a month would be sufficient time for any therapeutic effects of the CBD oil to take place. And so, did the CBD oil turn my achingly shy wallflower kitty into a high strutting attention-seeking party cat? Well, not quite. But here's my observations. I do think Katie has been more relaxed and she's not hiding as much under the bed. I've even caught her cuddling with Sing Sing on a chilly morning. And she's ventured out to other areas of the house, which we'd rarely seen her do before. As for her interactions with us, I think she's a little bit more tolerant of being petted. There was a point a while ago when Katie wouldn't even come out from the guest room and we'd even have to take her dinner to her. Now she's usually right under my feet meowing the whole time when I'm preparing food. In addition to the increased relaxation, I've also noticed some positive physical changes since Katie started taking the oil such as the improvement in her fur, which has always been a little rough and scraggly, probably because she won't allow me to brush her. After a month of the CBD oil, her coat looks thicker and more lustrous, though I really wish she'd let me comb out some of that loose fur. The CBD has a coconut oil base, and it also contains antioxidants, which can contribute to skin and coat health. So, what are my conclusions after Kate Moss's month of CBD oil? Well, while I think it's helped to take an edge off her nervousness, she's still a very shy, skittish cat and won't allow us to get too much closer to her than she did before. But I do think she's calmer and happier in her daily life, and she's interacting more with our other cats. So, for now, I will continue giving Katie the CBD oil. But these oils are not cheap. They run between $30 and $70 per bottle. So I'm only gonna use them if I continue to see benefits. 
While CBD oil has shown promise in some studies, it is not an FDA-regulated supplement, and more research is needed to confirm its effectiveness. There is a lot of hype out there for pet supplements, which generate billions of dollars in sales, so I can be kind of skeptical about miracle oils or herbs when there's just not a lot of scientific study to back up the big claims. There's also a lot of low quality CBD oils that are being sold and contain few of the beneficial compounds at all. So be sure to buy from a reputable CBD company. It won't hurt to try CBD oil for your anxious cat, and perhaps it really can help. But you know your cat better than anyone, and if you don't see any results after a month of giving it, I say don't waste your money. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now.